spaces of hospitality are very important in our world today because education is not about depositing information or collecting data and cataloging it. Education is about asking people to consider information or ideas and then to reconsider one's own ideas as a result of the conversation. Now, I dare say that this is much easier to do when you're embracing a person that you know, a daisy or a TS. It's much more difficult when you're trying to embrace differing ideas that people have. But if we can't figure out how to do that in these places that are small, I think it's hard, much harder to do in a larger university, any of these kinds of things, because you're much more like a number. We can do this, we can hear the voices. And it's incumbent upon us to make sure that we have a foundation so that we can hear the voices. The tenor of the place says, raise your voice, tell us who you are, and tell us what you think. And even if you think differently than me, I'm going to listen to you. And we're gonna figure out where we are in all of this. Because the truth of the matter is, all we have is us. All we have is us. The idea is so simple. The idea is such a simple idea. The idea of universities is that community schools are simple, academically based community service is simple, but there's a core idea. The core idea is that our institutions, Catholic colleges, universities such as Penn, whose founder Benjamin Franklin said the purpose of Penn was to educate young people with an inclination, moral, joined with an ability to serve, which ability to serve Mankind and its country, friend, and family was the great aim and end of the world. So the idea is that all of our institutions have at their core service to others who make the difference. And by focusing on universal problems, poverty, unemployment, poor housing, inadequate education, homelessness, universal problems in every city, in every community, in this country, and unfortunately in the world, by focusing on those universal problems that are manifested in our localities, colleges and universities will advance the education of the students, advance learning, advance scholarship, advance the development of America as a fully democratic society, and help to create a society and world in which all of us, everyone, can live a fair, decent, and joyous life. What does this mean for students? This means that you have a chance to explore and uncover real life problems and apply it to academic principles. It makes life your laboratory, your community, which makes it real for you. And so for me, that's what happened when I was a senior in high school. And out of that, I learned a sense of personal efficacy. This shows up in the research that we did. A sense of personal identity, spiritual growth, moral development, a sense of why are people hungry, interpersonal skills, how to work together in a team. All of these things come out of, of the service learning are these powerful impacts. I could spend, I spent a lot of time looking at the outcomes from service and learning. I don't think I really need to make a case for it, but all I'm saying is that in your stewardship as a faculty member and as a student to whom much is given, much is required. I want to share with you um, one last piece about um, that Ernest Boyer Wrote. And again, I think this really draws, it almost sounds like Catholic social tradition. When I heard you read what you read, Sister Mary Ann, I thought, boy, that sounds just like Ernest Boyer. Ernest Boyer has been a, a, a great thought leader in the world of higher education. This is what he said. Higher education should not only prepare students for productive careers, but also enable them to live lives of dignity and purpose. Generate new knowledge and channel their knowledge to humane ends. Also study government and help shape a citizenry that can promote the 
public good. So the question is, what do you do with what you've been given? How do you shape your life and how do you cast your life in your community and in your classroom? 